drop your dottle on the froggy knot. Oh, hey, hey, lads. Lads. Okay, yes, sir. Yeah, I return. Hello, canny lad. These phrases can be heard resonating through the streets of England's northernmost city every day. In 2008, the Geordie accent was voted the friendliest accent in the UK, the one most likely to put you in a good mood, as well as the sexiest. Now, ten years on, with droves of tourists flocking to the northeast for the Great Exhibition of the North, is the dialect still viewed in as high a regard? I am from the northeast, and I think it is a trusted accent. I think people do believe in it. I know a lot of the kind of stereotypes are they're hard to understand. I don't really have too much of a problem. I mean, sometimes it gets to the point, yeah, I'll ask, excuse me, what was that? And then uh, after a couple times of that cycle, I just say, yes, sure, whatever they're asking. Uh, that they're going to be friendly, they're going to be nice. Scousers and Geordies always get on well on holiday. I think it's rather aggressive. I find it quite enjoyable. I find it quite funny, to be honest, in some sometimes. I don't uh, understand uh, good uh, this uh, accent. Uh, I think friendly, yeah. However, the Language Gallery reported last year that Geordie has actually been overtaken as the sexiest accent of the year by the Northern Irish and Welsh accents. What? what? Why would it? Nah, nah. Nah, definitely not. No. <laughs> so what is it that makes the Geordie accent so appealing? Adam Mearns is a professor of linguistics at Newcastle University. It has been found by studies that have been done and people do find a Geordie accent to be a friendly one, an accessible one. It can be sometimes that there's a, a positive um, attitude towards the Geordie accent in distinction to something like RP or Southern accents. If those are seen as posh, then something that's not that, like a Geordie accent or a Liverpoolian accent, is seen as more friendly because they're different from the thing that's being seen as posh. But a lot of the sounds that still characterise uh, Hindside accent are found in Old English words and it's changes that have occurred later on in other accents that have created the difference from the normal kind of way that people think of it is that RP is the standard accent and therefore other regional accents have somehow departed away from that in some way and that's not the case. So um, well something obvious like uh, tune that reflects that oo sound reflects the Old English sound that would have been found in words that have later become our with the pride of Newcastle behind it, and the admiration of the rest of the UK, it would appear as if the perception of the Geordie accent is as canny as ever. Kieran McFadgen, Cultural Lab News, in the tune.